Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Gemini. Okay, so we have the King of Swords, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So this is a card of someone who is showing up as um, very rational. This is someone who prioritizes, who's like very intellectual, like they value intellect and direct and facts. Um, this is someone who isn't too emotional, caught up in looking at things from that point of view. Um, but this is an honest person. I'm seeing a very matter of fact person. This is someone who's direct, gets straight to the point. And um, when it comes to love, they, they have strong boundaries. This is someone who knows what they want. This is someone who has high standards. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Three of Swords in the reverse, Air Energy. The Page of Swords, Air Energy. And the Six of Cups, Water Energy. Okay, so it does look like this could be someone you're dealing with, someone from your past, someone who you may have turned your back towards. With the Three of Swords, you could have actually been quite heartbroken over this person at some point. Um, but there's this feeling of it's in the past now. Um, but this person, they still think of you. With the Page of Swords, it looks like they still miss you. They want to come towards you. They're feeling nostalgic right now with the Six of Cups. They're still emotionally attached or tied to you. But there's this feeling of you having kind of healed from the situation. Like this is something you, you may deem as being behind you now. And, you know, you've even grown a bit um, cold towards this person. Like you have strong boundaries towards them, you know, because for some reason with the, with the Page of Swords, there is this energy that this person, they can't really come towards you. Like they don't have direct access to you. So they have to resort to looking at your social media, asking friends about you, getting readings on you. Like they don't have, they can't go straight to the source, but they want to, you know, with the Six of Cups, they want to get close to you. They want to revisit whatever you guys had. They they actually are missing you. They're feeling so nostalgic. They may even be having dreams about you. There could be a strong, intense connection here with the Six of Cups that can even be like a past life connection. So this person, they never did forget you actually. So let's clarify these cards Gemini. Okay, we have the three of cups water energy cancer pisces scorpio energy so this is a card of a reunion so you could actually this person could be running into you while you're out with friends or in a social setting or there could just be some sort of reunion happening between you and someone here this person is really looking forward to reconnecting with you they really want to see you again okay so let's see okay we have the page of swords air energy five of cups water energy and the eight of cups water energy yeah, this person has a lot of regrets when it comes to you and the past you guys share. Um, they actually think a lot about it. They think of how they could have done things differently. If you walked away from this person, they, they think about that a lot. They remember that. It, it invokes a lot of emotion for them. This person feels really bad. This person really misses you. And they wish they could have done things differently. And it does look like they're actually going to try to voice that to you with the page of swords they want to communicate that to you because they want to change things in this situation 
Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, um, Gemini. Expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. So they really do wish things were different. So they're actually going to take, you know, try to make things different, to, to actively try to create change. Okay, let's see. We have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So I'm seeing this as someone who wants to repent, someone who wants your forgiveness, someone who wants to take accountability and own up to their mistakes. Okay, so let's see. we have dignity a wise man has dignity without pride a fool has pride without dignity so they really they replay this memory a lot it's like with the six of cups it's like thinking of what happened in the past and remembering you walking away remembering you showing your self-respect honoring yourself they do view you as having this self-respect this dignity you, they actually seeing you as that king of swords energy someone who you know knows their worth someone who enforces their boundaries. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out a card for your advice, Gemini. have surrender to what is flow with what is instead of fighting it when you can't change a situation compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace okay so that's what i'm seeing for you gemini i hope you have a really really good day gemini bye gemini